Hey brothers and sisters, Grooms here. It's been a minute. Really missed you guys. Today, let's get into steeples. We need to talk about this satanic obelisk, this occult sanctuary that no one wants to talk about. The obelisk, you know, it has many names. Uh, the maypole is one of them. Uh, they would uh, tie woven ribbons around it and the women would dance around them. It's a symbol for fertility. And if you know the story of uh, Osiris, he was cut up into 14 pieces. And Isis could only find 13. The one piece that was missing was his phallic or obelisk. And uh, in the Catholic religion, they think Dagon ate it, the fish. That's where the whole Dagon thing comes from. But <laughs> Albert Pike and these guys, you got to remember, they have an open but false policy. Very important to remember this, too. Uh, they'll say something means one thing, when in fact, it really means something else. Um, here's a good book you can check out. Jonathan Livingston's uh, Seagull. Um, just a great source of information. And he exposes uh, a lot of this. But again, you know, this obelisk is just uh, basically Jeb laying down the giant to uh, Nettie overreaching the sky. And uh, what people need to realize is, you know, uh, yeah, the Jesuits are behind. 90% of all this, but evil comes in many forms. Um, person, if they just had a head, they'll, they'll figure out a way to make a, a body so they can have sex with it. They're uh, cultic, and occultic means hidden and pervert. And morals and dogma was never supposed to go out into the public, but widows would end up selling them at yard sales and whatnot. And people got a hold of them, exposed their satanic agenda, especially the thirty through the thirty-third degree. Now, that's uh, where they're really into Luciferian wa uh, worship, and you have to go to Washington D.C. to become a worshipful master. Um. Brother Jim Shaw, a man who got saved, he, he talks about, or did, talked about when he had to go to Washington, D.C. to uh, become a worshipful master. He said, uh, it's not Scottish, it's not free, it's definitely not right. So now, what we have done, is we have stuck Mystery Babylon's religion on top of our church buildings. You know, and steeple started out just being a uh, an awning to keep people um, out of the the elements of the weather to ring the bells. And, but uh, bell, there's uh, another video for another time. And another thing you need to remember here is that the two pillars represent. Um, Bell and Astral, and here in the middle you have uh, uh, basically Lucifer. And well, that's who it is. Let's just be honest about this, people. Um, we need to be like Hezekiah, one of the few good kings um, in the Old Testament who tore down the high places. And uh, the Freemasons got in here in the 1800s, late 1800s. And uh, they put their mark on everything. And uh, look, mainly P. Hall even says that the pyramid and all seeing eye on the back of the dollar bill is 
Lucifer. Uh, that's a great architect. That's, that's what he's called. And uh, the whole point of this is to make you think they have an agenda and, and a secret. They they don't. Uh, their secret is they're Luciferian. That's the secret of secrets. But the real secret and the mystery that we all need to know is the revelation of the mystery that was given to the Apostle Paul by the risen Lord Jesus Christ. And uh, Romans 16.25 explains that pretty well, that we're to preach Jesus Christ according to the revelation of the mystery. And uh, But they'll never get this. They can't understand the Bible, and especially while Paul is an apostle. Um, a lot of the, a lot of them are deists. They uh, they hate Paul. They're deists at best. Really, mo most most of them are just Luciferian. And uh, it's the fourth through the thirty third degrees that are tied in with uh, the Jesuits. Uh, I think a Jesuit um, came up with those degrees. Uh, I got a friend that's got more on that. But the obelisk at St. Peter's Basilica came from Egypt. So did the one in London. So did the one in Paris. And so did the one in New York. Why does none of these cities build their own? Do we have to have the ones that Moses and uh, Daniel probably had to deal with? And... You know that's what it is. Uh, this one here in Buenos Aires, they know what it is. They even went as far in 2010 on AIDS Awareness Day to um, stick a pink condom all the way down it. Just in spite. It's the biggest one in the world. They actually say that Osiris lives inside of it. And, uh, and your major cities, you'll always find them at the highest part of the city, usually. And uh, a lot of the ancient ones will be uh, just round circles, uh, especially out in the countries, um, countryside. Um, we have a few around here on top of the mountain you can go to. And uh, I'll show you a picture over here in a second. But... Um, it's just wicked people and remember we want to see men come to the fellowship of the ministry we want to see souls saved time's running out and uh, I don't know how long we have no one does but each day is crucial and important and very important and uh we have to live it as if it is our last. Uh, we're all guilty of not doing that. But we are to preach Jesus Christ. So, and uh, we all need to be doing that. Uh, I'm guilty of it myself. I need to do it more. We all need to be witnessing. But uh, check out your local town. Oh, here's the ley lines. Uh, these ley lines. There's 2,000 ancient pagan ley lines here and uh, you know they're using it to draw power and energy but but let's quit playing around and uh, share the real gospel let's go to 1st Corinthians 15 1 through 4 moreover brethren I declare unto you the gospel which I preach unto you which also you have received and wherein you stand by which you also are saved if you keep in memory what I preach unto you unless you have believed in vain now here's a very important verse this is one of the most crucial verses uh, to me it's uh, Romans 16 25 let's go over it together now to him being God <laughs> that is a power to establish you according to my gospel and the preaching of Jesus Christ according 
to the revelation of the mystery. You know what? Let's just go ahead and do one more verse. Let's do First Timothy one sixteen. How be it for this cause I obtain mercy that in me first Jesus Christ might show forth all long suffering for a pattern to them which should hereafter believe on him to life everlasting. So it's telling us that Paul's the pattern. And um in this dispensation we still worship and follow jesus christ but paul is our pattern i hope that makes sense too if you have any comments or questions send them to me god bless guys see you